deviations, sexual perversities, all forms of weird sexual criminal encounters. Now, you may ask why do I often resort to ethos, to great beauty, to all the harmony, force and power? Am I one of those bigots, moralizing people who decided to show the goodness of it, to castrate the gods and goddesses from all the bestiality and to portray little nice forms of harmonious beauty and art. Well, the issue is completely different. I'm an experienced man with 38 years of very intensive life, of combat and strife, blood, toil, sweat and sex. And I've seen a lot, from radicals of radicals, from national socialistic black metal spectra of right-wingers and Nazis, to the most despoiled left-winger BDSM latex parties anarchy ambient mixed together with the degrangulate of the modern world. I've seen all that, I've been through all that. What is the point? Too much light invites darkness. And witnessing both the bestiality, the evil and good of it, you need to decide what to do with yourself. As Emperor Julian once remarked, those who do not know good and evil cannot pick the right path. That's why from the experience you derive from life, despite bestiality and evil and catastrophe of this world, you decide to pursue the right paths. What are the right paths? Those that you derive from reason, by observing excesses of humanity and by moderating it through intellect, reason and the outcome that encompasses the whole societal fabric, to think what kind of narration may be repurposed or purpose for furthering a certain benevolent goal, to avoid suffering and pain, to avoid degeneration and evil. Sure, at times we may be demoniacs, we may be evil, cruel, ruthless, bestial even. But what does it teach us? How does it coin us the expanse of those natures and characters? What is the middle ground of it? As once was written at the Delphic Oracles, everything in moderation, everything nothing in excess. Because excess ruins. It ruins characters, natures, inclinations. It drags people into hell. Therefore the strongest courage, the strongest person, is that who lived through total bestiality, of murdersome, cannibalistic, rapist intuitions and inclinations to the wars of atrocities of humanity that they could ever invent in their civilized mutations and decide what is good, what is right, what is the path to be followed. Here stands the strong man, exe homo, that is the man, very unus who tasted from the tree of greatest evil, of the lords of Edom, of the tunnels of Seth, of the ruins of godhood, and emerges reintegrated in order to pursue what is right, wise and just. Remember this. Do not dwell on the feces of humanity, but be aware of it and pursue the great path of heroes. Thank you.